Okay, I'm going to talk about how to use the Tacoma third generation or second generation truck bed inverter to power a power station. It has a 400 watt uh, capability when you're parked and a 100 watt capability when you are moving. And it comes from an inverter that sits back inside the center console. There is a 400 watt anytime mod you can do by taking this off and clipping two wires and making one of them go to ground. It's been well documented and people have done it for years and years and Tacoma actually modified their 24 uh, version of the truck to do that. The problem is that is a modified sine wave inverter. And a modified sine wave inverter, at least the Tacoma one, puts out terrible malformed power waves. It's got this AC power port in the bed of the truck but it's almost unusable and certainly by any power station that I've tested or had anybody report on Tacoma World, it won't run the power station. They won't recognize the power. Pecron won't do it. None of the Blue Eddies and none of the EcoFlows and none of the Jackeries of about 10 versions that I've had people test. None of them will accept that power. So you can't just use the AC cord with your power station, plug into here and be happy. You're gonna have to somehow convert the power from here to a form that the power station can take, which means you're gonna convert it to some sort of a DC and feed one of the charge controllers, solar charge controllers, that will accept a DC current. And that's the only way that you're gonna be able to make use of the wires that are already run to the bed of your truck and the 120 volt AC inverter that Tacoma has. If you don't do that, then you end up having to go to the alternator, put in a DC to DC uh, converter uh, that will feed via big 10 gauge wires, 10 AWG wires back into here. You'll feed DC power into this thing, but it's way more expensive. It's a lot of work. You're gonna have to run all that stuff and you've already got wires here if you can just figure out how to use it. Okay, just a quick video to show, uh, this is my Pecron E1500. LFP, I am feeding one of the two solar charge or any charge controller. This one is the 100 watt. It's 12 to 18 volts, but the new owner's manual says it's actually 12 to 25 volts. And the owner's manual is electronic that comes with this one. Um, and I am feeding that on a DC 5521 plug. I went all around the house to find some charge unit that had that kind of a plug. And I found this Energizer a rechargeable battery and this is a 16.4 volt uh, output and it says 4 amps which should only be like 65 amps or something sorry 65 watts um, but you can see that it's going up to the limit 99 watts of what this Pecron uh, station limits itself to on that port which is nice because it self limits it's not gonna pull any more amperage than that out of here and and heat up the wires the Tacoma will run 100 watts out of this when you're driving and 400 watts out of this when you're in park. I am in park now, so it could actually run more if I had something that would provide a voltage for this input, which is 32 volts to 95 volts. That'll go up to 700 watts. So I could feed this one if I had a, a power supply out of there. Um, just plug in a, a DC power supply that I could adjust to like 400 watts and then I should be good without uh, damaging the inverter wires or anything like that. And I would have to do the 400 watt anytime mod on my Tacoma, which I will.